What's going on guys, Jack here and welcome to episode 3 of the Bristol Rovers career mode. First of all, in the last episode someone suggested that I should go and pick up Josh Murphy and that's exactly what I'm going to go and try and do. And uh, Josh Murphy does look like a solid player, I have had a look at his stats because I have scouted him and he is also on the loan list so maybe I do, um, if this uh, permanent deal doesn't go through, I do uh, get him for a, um, a season long loan and then uh, purchase him at the end of the season long loan because that's that's what I've been doing and uh, in the QPR career mode series of course I did that with uh, Benzia. Uh, when he was at uh, Olympic Lyon, I want to say, and uh, that worked out very fine, and then I did get him, and he was an absolute god for me, so maybe that is what I do, but you can see we're going into a game here against Scumthorpe United, and this is one that we're going to have to win, because we haven't had the best of starts to the season, we did get a draw, so I guess it's better than, um, well, it's better than losing, but, you know, it's not as good as winning, and we want to be winning as many matches as possible, because we're a promotion team, we're looking for promotion, and uh, hopefully we can get it, because we've got, we've got the squad to do it, but, um, of course, we've got a lot of uh, low-rated players with a lot of potential, and uh, they're, they're mainly just going to be on the bench, really, and uh, I've got a lot of experience in the team as well, I've got a uh, Jean Joe O'Toole, I think it is, or O'Toole, and uh, I've also got um, uh, I've also got quite a few um, experienced centre backs as well. Um, can't remember their names though, but they are very good centre backs, very strong and tall centre backs as well. But they're not that quick, so that could be a big problem in the future when we do come up against um, teams with very fast wingers and strikers. But you see here, we start the game off with a shot from Harrison I think that was and uh, that that was an alright shot but um, unfortunately it just wasn't good enough and it couldn't trouble the goalkeeper too much but it's Hunter losing the ball there actually and uh, giving it away to Scunthorpe and uh, this was a very good chance for Scunthorpe to do something and they did something very really nice passing play there and uh, very very good save there from um, our goalkeeper there our very old goalkeeper 35 I think he is but he's still our best goalkeeper so he's going to be in the starting 11 for a little bit longer and you can see they get a free kick here Scumfort they cross it in and and well if that would have gone in that would have been a bit disappointing but luckily you know uh, Milden Hall was there to um, cover that even if it was on target which is good to see uh, but you can see here once again that they're going on the attack Scumfort were really all over us in this first half and a uh, really lovely through ball and that should have been 1-0 there but uh, of course it wasn't because Milden Hall making another great save. I think that's two or three great saves he's made just in this first half, which is really important because we need a good goalkeeper, especially when our defence isn't at the sharpest like in this game. But, you know, we're at home. We should be winning this game. We should be having more shots on target. And another great save from Milden Hall. He has really picked up his game after the friendlies where he had a pretty disappointing run of form and uh, conceded quite a few goals. But we go into half-time 0-0, which isn't too bad, especially considering the fact that we were getting dominated quite a bit. But, you know, Milden Hall kept us in the game and luckily we do manage to go into half time nil nil and uh, we really should have done a bit better really because what I'm finding is our strikers just aren't doing that well and they really have poor attack positioning and the formation isn't brilliant either I guess but you know I can't really blame the strikers too much and you can see there I'm playing Harrison as a striker he's got awful positioning I really shouldn't be playing him there I don't even know why he's playing there and uh, well most of our strikers seem to have poor attack positioning anyway I think uh, Matt Harold is the best one that we have and maybe David Clarkson as well but still you know 56 is pretty poor and we're gonna have to get a striker a younger striker maybe in Although um, we've got uh, Elliot Richards there and we've also got Brunt and uh, Clarkson has signed a new contract with the club. So he's going to be there. I'm not sure about Matt Harold's at the moment. His future is kind of in the balance. I'm not really sure if I'm going to sell him or not. But you can see here another chance and very, very close at the near post to making it 1-0. And uh, luckily, once again, Mildenhall seemed to have that covered, even if it was on target. I don't think it would have gone in, which is good to know because... Uh, if that would have gone in, that would have put us in a bit of trouble. And we really do need to win this game. This is a game that is crucial, 
crucial to us winning. If we get a good start to this season, that is how we can predict whether we are going to get promoted or not. And we really do need to. But we go on the counter-attack here. And Brunt gets played through um, after Hunter um, passes it through. And that is a fantastic finish from him. We finally get a goal in the 65th minute. Very undeserved. We were getting dominated quite a bit. And uh, that does make it 1-0. And that was a very, very good goal. Very well taken. Very good pass as well from Shaquille Hunter. Um... Really good pass. I can't wait to see him grow. Apparently, he does have about 80 potentials. So, if he does, I'm definitely not going to be selling him. But uh, you can see there, all the uh, replays there. Very beautiful, as you know. And, uh, yes, we are into the 69th minute. Just a few minutes later after that goal. And uh, we almost managed to get the cross in there. But, um, unfortunately, we couldn't quite do that. And we pick up the ball and get a throw in here. And uh, Brunt really doing some work down that uh, right side. And... Uh, crossing it in and unfortunately we couldn't quite head it across goal and even if we uh, did he was in an offside position anyway but nevertheless we do manage to win this game 1-0 not a very convincing performance though to be honest because I'm pretty sure we only had one shot on target and that shot was from Brunt and it did manage to go in and uh, that just goes to show that we really do need to improve our striking force and uh, we do need to get a striker that has better work rates, better attack positioning. But, you know, at least we do pick up the three points. That's the first three points of the of the season. And uh, maybe some crucial three points that will lead to promotion later on. But, you know, we're going to want to get promotion because we want to get to the BPL as soon as possible. And uh, make this series very interesting. Because if we just stay in League 2 for another season... That's probably going to get a bit boring, but you can see we have one shot on target. Definitely didn't deserve to win that game, but nevertheless, we do win it anyway, 1-0. Nice clean sheet for Mildenhall. He did play very well in that game and did deserve a clean sheet, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, we do pick up the three points, and I think we're now in seventh place, which is quite good. But we're getting off here from Barnsley, actually, for Danny Woodard. And uh, I was tempted to accept this, but then I was like, you know what, I'm going to stall it because... I'm not really sure if I want to get rid of him yet because we don't have another right back in that position. Um, I think the only other right back is, um, oh God, I can't remember his name, but he is uh, quite a pacey guy. And uh, I was also interested in a new striker, and Max Clayton, he's got a lot of potential in him. He's only 19, and his the best thing is his salary is very low and affordable. So I offer 125 grand plus Harold, but I really do want to sign him because he's got great attack position and great work rate, and hopefully I will be able to sign him because that would be a fantastic signing, to be honest, and he'll be a great young striker to have. Uh, but I also have loaned out quite a few youth players as well that I did bring in. Some of them were the free agents, and that is because I didn't realise how, I don't know, how deep our squad is, and, you know, some players aren't going to be happy, and uh, you can see, though, that we're going into a game against Southend United, the team that were trying to take Matt Harold's off of our hands, but uh, the deal did fall through, unfortunately, which maybe was my fault, because I did counter off for a little bit more, but, you know, I want to get as much out of these players as possible, you know, so I can pick up even better players in those positions and make a bit of profit, you know, but you can see here in the 30th minute that they cross it in, and another great save from Milden Hall, though the header was pretty poor, and uh, I almost messed it up there with uh, the throw out, and uh, that could have cost a goal, but luckily it didn't, and uh, we move on into the 33rd minute, we intercept the ball with O'Toole, and uh, a lovely through ball over to Smith, and almost, almost with a left foot shot, scoring there, but that really should have been 1-0, don't know why it wasn't 1-0 to be honest, but unfortunately we just really weren't in this first half once again, and we do go into half time 0-0, which isn't the best of results, but you know, it could be worse, we could be down, and um, that was, uh, I guess, a little bit of a uh, consolation to be honest, due to the fact that we didn't really have that many shots on target, we had two shots and two on target, Maybe we should be more clinical, I don't know, but I had this problem at the beginning of the QPR career mode series where I just couldn't finish my chances, so maybe it's just at the start of the career modes, it's just a little bit harder to gel with the team and figure out how they play and how they play best, and uh, I think I'll bring on Shaquille Hunter here uh, to play at Cam because Elliot Richards was getting a bit tired uh, as he was playing in the last game, and uh, yeah, Shaquille Hunter hopefully will grow into an absolute beast because he's only 17 and he has great physical stats already out of 52 overall player but you know it's going to take a while for him to grow and uh, yeah hopefully when he does grow he's going to be a fantastic player for us and uh, do very well for us um, but 
yeah, this game was pretty boring, to be honest. There wasn't really much happening in this game. And, uh, you know, the chances that we did have weren't the best of chance. And the goalkeeper was very good in this game, I have to admit. But you can see here, O'Toole, a lovely through ball to him. And how did that finesse shot go in? I do not know. For a bronze player, you know, an equivalent of a bronze player on Ultimate Team, 61 rated player, to finish that at the near post is absolutely ridiculous. That was a great through ball once again from Shaquille Hunter. And uh, took a nasty deflection off the goalkeeper, I think. I think um, if the goalkeeper didn't dive as much, uh, I don't think that would have been a goal. But it does come off the back of the goalkeeper's hands. Bit of an AD goal, but I'm going to take it. You know, that's quite a nice finish, actually. Um, although uh, it did hit the goalkeeper on the way in and uh, it did hit the post. But luckily, we do get a bit of luck and that puts us 1-0 up. But you can see here that Klukas picks up the ball here, I think that's how you say it. And uh, unfortunately, once again, the goalkeeper making a fantastic save. The goalkeeper was really, really good in this game. And uh, although we did have a lot more chances in the Scumthorpe than in the Scumthorpe United game, you know, we couldn't really take them as much and uh, you know that just goes to show that our attacking force isn't that great at finishing and they go on the counter charge here but Mildenhall coming out and bossing that and making a great save once again I wasn't I was doubting him really and his abilities uh, at the start of the season especially in the friendlies when he had quite a few poor performances and also that first game against Northampton but he does make up for his mistakes and uh, maybe he will be the first team goalkeeper for this season I think he will be because he's he's a pretty solid keeper at times but he's he just needs consistency and once he's got that he's just going to be a fantastic keeper but they get a free kick there and they hit the post very unlucky from uh, Southend United there they probably should have scored that but nevertheless they didn't and uh, I, I really have noticed that our defence from corners is just godly like we're really good from corners and uh, we're really good at defending them mainly because of our tall defenders but we do manage to win that game 1-0 once again Two 1-0 uh, wins and two clean sheets for Mildenhall. Playing very, very well. And guys, if you've enjoyed this episode of the Bristol Rovers career mode, I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video. Maybe get to 30 likes as we did in the uh, second episode. That would really mean a lot to me. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, next time for another episode. And uh, subscribe if you're new.